Malkia. I am the CEO and the broker for the PMs of the City Realty. I'm also the CEO for the PMs of the City Property Management Firm here serving Maryland, D.C. and Virginia. You know those questions that we had growing up that nobody talked to us about? First of all, what is a credit score? Okay. How do you build that credit score? I'm ready to purchase a house, but nobody told me how to be prepared. Crystal, I know they didn't tell me in high school that one day I'm going to want to buy a house and this is what I needed to do to prep. When I got to college, they still wasn't talking to me about that. And I, th I find that today being a broker and talking to a lot of other realtors that are coming into the industry, because you know, real estate is a, a, an amazing industry to be in, to be able to change the face of real estate, to give other, e other individuals the opportunity to establish financial freedom and stability. So I'm gonna turn it over to you now, Crystal, my queen. Thank you so much for, um having this platform and us being able to provide this information because as you said, we don't get it. We don't have it. It's not taught to us in school. We know that that is by design, right? Because yeah. if we can keep that pressure on your neck, you continue to work for somebody else so that they can live the life that they want to live. Um, a little bit of history about me. I have been in this, in this mortgage, real estate, financial world for over 20 years, right? I started as vice president of a credit union. From there, I left that and opened my own uh, mortgage broker office, right? Wait. So when people talk to me and they say the, the, the energy is so great or that it's like talking to their sister cousin or whatever, because I'm like, I've been there. So this is a judge-free zone. I know it. I may not have done or had to deal with that very specific thing that you're dealing with, but I have my own journey. So I get it, right? So there's a misconception. A lot of times people they will know, okay, I have to, if I'm doing FHA, I got to have a 3.5% down payment. If I'm doing, you know, uh, conventional, I got to have a 3% down payment, right? Some people think right. they got to have 20% because they're doing conventional, but 3% for first time home buyers, right? And 5% right. for... So you recommend, and that's, that's a good point to understand when your credit card companies are reporting to the credit bureau, so you can communicate with them and find out when you need to pay things off or when you should actually pull your score because... When you're looking at going through the mortgage process, the loan process, you're constant. Aren't, how many times do you typically have to pull the credit report before they actually get to closing? So that that's going to vary between lenders, right? Um, most are going to pull credit only once. Some are going to pull credit again right before you close. Ah. <laughs> Which is okay. why you hear people say, "Don't do anything." Once you don't do anything. There. Don't spend don't no do money. Anything. I had my, my, I had somebody tell me they made their client take a car back, like yep. literally. Yep. They closed. They couldn't. They couldn't close. He made them take the car back. Mm -hmm. The lender made them take it back. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Wasn't going to be able to close it in." Mm -hmm. Because he, he got that car in that process, shot his debt to income ratio up. Now you can't qualify if you still had this car. Take it back. Okay. <laughs> Crystal has given us some tips and tools, so we're going to utilize the actual websites of the credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, because you can just go there, you set up an account, you can order your credit report. And we talked about um, through that process of mortgage process, typically, and I say typically because some lenders may have their own overlays, and so okay. what, let me give you a simple example. Again, Fannie Freddie FHA. VA have their guidelines. Lenders can put an overlay on top of that, right? And what I mean by that is FHA, again, in the state of Michigan says we can do a mortgage down to a 580 credit score. Most lenders, though, are still going to require you to have a 620 or 640 credit score. That's the lender's overlay on top of FHA guidelines. The actual program. Right. And so lenders can do so because you may not be able to get a mortgage with one lender doesn't necessarily mean you can't get one with another one if that lender doesn't have that overlay that's prohibiting you from getting that financing that's and good that's a that's a good point crystal and it actually leads me into one of the questions that i have and you talked about it so when individuals they, they've now they have their credit score they've ordered their credit they call the guy the president. They know what they they know what they're looking at. They don't. They may not understand everything that's on it. They know it's a lot of negative stuff. They like, I don't know what this me. This just says that I owe a lot of money. I don't know how I'm gonna pay this off. So that means, oh, it may not be in my reach to buy a house because my credit is this is in this particular area. And they're now wanting to talk to a real estate agent or broker or a mortgage lender. 
how do they evaluate who to talk to? Because like you just said, if they order their credit report from the credit bureaus, that's a soft pull. When the lenders actually pull their credit, and this is for individuals that think that they're ready and we had no knowledge to say, okay, well, I'm ready. And they go to an office and they have their credit pull to see if they qualify and then they have it pulled is that soft or hard? What is the difference between soft and hard? So yeah. two questions. Is when they when the lender pulls it, is it soft or hard? And then what is the difference between a soft and hard and how does that affect their credit report? Right. So when a lender pulls your credit, it is a hard pull, meaning it's gonna show up as an inquiry on your credit report. If you go into the credit bureau and ask for your credit report and they give you your score, it's a soft pull and it's not gonna show up because it's you asking for your own personal information. So that's so, that's Jewel, that's that's number three. Yeah. So one, you go into the credit bureaus so and you're gonna pull your credit report, and that's gonna be a soft pull. Soft pull. Mm -hmm. Now you also know that before when you're going to a lender, that that's a hard pull. Mm -hmm. You also know you have three to four days to shop around. And I heard and it's and I, and I thank you for confirming that because I only have one lender tell me that. So Shanet, if you're gonna evaluate anything, make sure you do it within three to four days because of that reason, so they, you have everybody's in that period. So that made sense. You also know now that you don't want to go buy a car unless you have the financing room. So now they got this credit score, Crystal. They got this. They got this credit report in front of them, and a realtor can't help them yet. We can't help them yet. A broker can't help them yet. We can't do nothing yet. But most but, realtors and brokers aren't even gonna talk to you yet. Say that one more time. Like, <laughs> if you don't have a pre-approval in your hand, a realtor and a broker. I mean, you will find one or two, and I never understand why they do that, right? But I, that you, but if you don't know how much you can afford, what are we looking for? Like, we're we don't not, need to know. <laughs> no, no professional realtor or broker is going to take you out to go look at houses so that you can daydream. You can do that at open houses at your own accord, um, but we need to know your price point. And it's very important that you know your price point because there's no reason for us to take you to go see properties that are outside of your price point. And because everybody always, wants the, I want to live here. Yes. Everybody <laughs> wants the, I want to live here. And, but here's the thing that you want to make sure that you do when you're getting that pre-approval, right? There's the amount that you can afford on paper or that you qualify for based on that debt to income ratio. And I can yes. talk about debt to income ratios in a second. So there's that amount that you qualify for on paper and then there's that amount that you want to pay. Mm -hmm. And that amount could be different. There's a 40 day financial workbook for women. It's called That's the, the book. Yeah. I'm giving that away today. So we're giving this away today. That yeah. one, that one right there. We're giving that and away. Is, right? The single mother's edition and the couple's edition. And what's in there are questions in that couple's edition that you all can start to ask one another. To talk about so it's over 60 questions in the book right and so one of them if you got debt and i got debt and we get married is it our debt or is your debt your debt and my debt stays my debt please right? text um, the queen yeah. the queen of financial strategy chris i just want to say thank you this was a very I, 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 for, for me this is exactly what i wanted the community to have the raw conversation right. as to where we begin because this should be beauty shop talk barbershop mm -hmm. talk yeah. This should be, listen, the, the water cooler talk. And I'm so glad that you have the book for single women because, and single single moms, because I'm thinking, I can see so many single moms thinking about today, do I have the opportunity to buy a home? And, and you do. how, and how do I do it? You said $12,000. If I did three to 3.5%, 3 you said 70,000 if, if I'm doing 20. And that was just the down payment. So listen, you can buy a house, it just may not be today, right? You might be able to go, can't get a pre-approval today. However, we can walk you through the process so that you can. And here's a crazy thing, even with renting now, you still gotta go through the same credit process. Come on, and I and we bet it. And so let me tell you, so what we look for, and this is a little bit more interesting because if you're trying to rent a property and it's just for you to give to your, your youth because a lot of parents right now are telling you, 18, get out, it's time to go get a job and go out and stop please, telling your kids that please pause there. on that because they're not <laughs> here because exactly. when they come to my table and they go look at one of my apartments and i'm asking them and i'm looking for a 650 credit score and they're looking at me like how did i build that i'm 18 i'm 19 years old yeah. i don't have the income they're not ready and they're not ready and then when they have to come back to you as 
their parents and they say, I need a co-signer. And you're not in a position to be able to help your children or even help them understand how to be able to find an apartment that is within budget. So you got tools and resources. So yeah. no matter what you're going through, understanding your credit, financial literacy, whether you're buying, renting, you're gonna you need to understand this. Because this is a part of your future. This is about your purpose. You can't set yourself up to be successful with things that you don't know. And so right now what we're doing is we're taking the blinders off of our community. We're going back in and we're going to give this information on a regular basis because everybody should have that opportunity. The City Lunch and Learn series today was our Let's Get credit and mortgage ready. Crystal Gunn, our queen financial strategist, joined us today. We're bringing her back for our next two sessions. And our next two sessions, the one thing that she was getting ready to speak about was how do they figure out your debt to income ratio? You mean, when, she said that you got, I should understand when they're reporting to the credit bureau. So when should I make sure I'm paying my bills on time? She said they're looking at my credit history. How far back are they going? If you're self-employed, how many years of your tax returns do you need to be prepared to show and the bank statements to match? I got cash under the bed. What do I need to do? Please come back and join us. We will make sure that we get these flyers out as soon as possible. But we'll be coming back next month. So we'll do this once a month. So we'll come back two more times and bring you the closure of Let's Get a Mortgage and Credit Ready. I'm Shanetta Malkia. Please follow us on the pmsofthecity.com on IG, as well as Facebook. Please make sure you stay connected. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate it.